so we all know that this guitar can do this. Did you know that it can also do this? And this? Hello people of the internet. I hope everyone's in good health and spirits. Today I'm going to be giving you my full and honest review of the Jackson Dinky JS227. But first I want to catch everyone up to speed just so that we know exactly what we're talking about here. This is a JS series instrument by Jackson Guitars, which is their entry level price point into the brand. It's a JS22, which as far as I can tell means that it has 24 frets, two humbuckers, and the 7 denotes that it's a 7 string model. It has a super cool headstock with 3 over and 4 under tuning machines, 3 way pickup selector switch, and a single volume, single tone pot layout. The neck is a 12 inch to 16 inch compound radius with 24 jumbo frets and a 26 and a half inch scale length. So you can have this guitar finished in either black or black, and the one I have is, well, black. This is a great way to get into the world of extended range guitars because of the incredibly low price point. Uh, in fact, I paid about 200 US dollars for mine and that seems to be the going rate just about everywhere. So now let's jump into the good. I love how versatile this guitar is. In fact, it's probably the main reason that I bought it. The pickups are quite good. I believe they're C8 ceramic magnets and they're hotter than a Carolina Reaper on Natalie Portman's butt cheek. Seriously though, these things scream. So the extended scale keeps the strings from going all flobbery if you should find yourself tuning lower than normal, which I do. Uh, this one is tuned to G, D, G, C, F, A, D. Now on to the bad. The hideous matte black finish looks like it's something off of an import ricer from the Fast and the Furious film series. The tuners aren't very good. On mine, you can turn the G string 26 times and nothing happens. But on the 27th turn, it rockets up two and a half steps. It's hilarious. The scale combined with the compound radius is great for doing genty boys and regular solos. But if you try and bend past the full step, you're gonna break your finger. Honestly, I've seen mountains that are easier to move. So in a single sentence, this is a super beefy, not at all good looking, completely affordable way for you to play a seven string. Oh,